And good morning, everyone. Uh, we're here right now at the Embassy of Poland, and we would like to thank uh, His Excellency uh, Yaroslo, Yaroslav uh, for the invitation that he uh, accorded to us. And, uh, you know, this is the first uh, interview we'll be conducting with uh, the Ambassador. So, good morning, Ambassador. Thank you so much for the invitation. Good morning, Kat. Mabuhay. <laughs> yeah. Ambassador, uh, of course, uh, we see how much you've been very active uh, helping the country, promoting the culture, etc. What was your experience here in the Philippines? What was your first impression when you were assigned here? Ah, first impression was that um, uh, I landed in Asia, but finally I find myself not in Asian country. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that is a unique uh, situation that uh, you are in the country that it's only partially belonging to the environment because of the history, you know, this saying 300 of the Spanish Covenant and 50 years of the Hollywood. But it was, I am quite accustomed to, uh, to this kind of the country. Before the Philippines, I, I, I was posted in Ethiopia. That is formerly African country because it's in, um, in the African continent. But in reality, it's belonging to the Orient, yes. not to the, you know, what we call Black Africa. So it's a little bit the same experience with uh, the Philippines. Yeah. What do you find interesting in the Filipino culture and in our country as a whole? So, what I like, I like, you know, the smile of the people where you are going, the, you know, the love of music and dance. And the, um, I think that this kind of the kindness, uh, that is, of course, is a way of be behavior of the Filipino people, but uh, it's a, it's I think the first thing that everybody you know notice. Um, second is uh, is um, at least Manila and uh, the capital of the Philippines is very occidentalized town. We call it Imperial Manila, you know, to to, to make distinction. But um, but you feel you know this I would say occidental presence even if you look outside of the window you see American uh, memorial here so the the buildings are occidental um, so this is uh, the if someone is not moving outside of Manila. Um, he may uh, have an impression that he is somewhere uh, in the United States, maybe, maybe Mexico or South America. So uh, the only uh, you know things that it's uh, you know making you thinking that you are not in South America, mm -hmm. it's that Filipino are not speaking Spanish, <laughs> as normally someone may expect. Mm -hmm. And uh, I also noticed that you've been to some places in the, in the Philippines. I try. I try to um, travel, to see, uh, and to relax as well. Uh, so, because mainly for um, the, you know foreign uh, foreigner in the Philippines, the first impression about the Philippines it's uh, sun, sea, and sand. So we are always eager, you know, to go, to go to such places, and of course, the diving in the Philippines is excellent. Um, there are many uh, hilarious spots here. Uh, but as well, it's an opportunity uh, if you are taking a little bit off road and to see the real life and uh, that it's not uh, advertised as a tourist destination. So, the, so being a diplomat, um, this is the opportunity, you know, to talk as well to, to um, you know, the, uh, 
uh, administration and as well to talk to the normal people to know their life and so this is uh, I would say this vision of the country is not um, uh, in 2D it's a 3D you know, picture and of course it's giving a kind of the insight and and the knowledge and I think that the respect to, to not too easy to judge um, the people, their behavior because even if you go to uh, foreign countries we are always as a diplomat bringing a kind of the knowledge and the staying in the country is a process of deepening the knowledge in correcting it and to have a better understanding and uh, of the life and the reality and so from this is coming a kind of the respect mm -hmm. to the country so this is uh, at least my travel uh, at adventure in the Philippines is always uh, enriching and uh, not taking um, sometimes uh, you know simplistic vi vision of the country as given they are much more behind mm -hmm. so this is a kind of the you know activities um, um, i am much more dragged to baguio uh, by the personality and the historical value yes. of the place uh, when general yashimoto surrendered japanese yes. forces is uh, Villa of the U.S. ambassador. Yeah. So you have a lot of things that are great interest for me. Maybe not for uh, yes. others exactly. Yeah. Any message to the Filipino people? So the last word I think that I want to say to the Filipino is to be proud of the uh, to be Filipino and embrace uh, so all aspects of being Filipino with, uh, with your cultural diversity. I think don't go into the very simplicist, simplicist um, a picture of the Filipino history with the Lapu-Lapu as a founder of the Filipino state. It's, I think, it's, the truth is much more complicated. It's a hundred of hundred years and uh, um, history that made the, the Philippines that I am witnessing now and uh, know its richness, know the history. Uh, I think it's bringing a kind of the proudness and to, to be proud. And I think it's important as well to think not making division between the you know, the, the old rural Philippines and the modern, uh, you know, modern generation and the Manila as an example. No, Bo both parts of the Philippines are the part of the Philippines and the uh, national identity. And so it must be kept. I remember that in Poland we had the same situation. The people were not leaving to dance traditional dances because it was old school. They wanted, you know, a disco dance and things like that. Now it's finished. So this is, we are proud as well to dance uh, a, a, a kind of the folk dances. It's very popular, so the people don't feel the shame. And so let's do it in the Philippines to be proud Filipino. Thank you. Salamat.